Hello there everybody, I am Tadashimori and in this video here, I will show you how to make this origami baby dragon. It's a brand new design that I made last week, so let's start. So, to make this origami, we are going to use one square sheet of paper and start with the white side facing upward and fold along the diagonal. Now unfold the paper and fold along the other diagonal. And unfold again. Now fold the paper in half again, but now in this direction here. Now unfold the paper and fold in half one more time, now in this direction here. Okay, now you're going to fold making this side of the paper, go up to the middle line and just do the same thing to all four sides. Okay, now fold making this point here, go up to the middle. So, like this, and do the same thing to all four sides. Now turn the model over and fold, making this side of the paper this point here, go up to the middle. Now fold making this line here, go up to this line here. Now unfold and do the same thing to the other side. Right, now unfold and fold both sides at the same time, so it's going to look like this. Carefully fold here, both sides, and it's going to make a small triangle here in front. And the model is going to look like this. Now just unfold here, and do the same thing on the other three sides. Okay, now turn the model over and open here all these flaps and the model is going to look like this. Now fold the model in half along the diagonal and then fold it in half again, like this. Okay, now basically you're going to do the same thing here on this top triangle, folding this line here up to this line here. So, it's going to look like this. Right, so unfold and fold this line up to this line. So it's basically the same thing but on this triangle here. Okay, so again, unfold and fold both sides at the same time making a small flap here, a small triangle on the front. Now open the model up to this point here, okay, and on this top layer you're going to open here this pocket. Now turn the model over 
and open the pocket on this side too. Just like this. Right, now you're going to fold here the tip, making this point here go up to this first line here. Fold and unfold this tip here, and now you're going to make a sink fold along this line we just made. A sink fold would be something like this, so open here, this top part a little bit, okay, making a square along the line we just folded, right? Now push here the middle of the square and fold it back just like this. So this is a sink fold, okay? And the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to make a valley fold along this line here and two mountain folds along this line and this line here. So, just fold here, one layer, okay, along this line here. And this point here is going to be a little bit difficult to make, and it's going to look like this. So you're going to fold here, make the mountain fold along the two lines I just said, and at the same time you're going to press here the sides of this layer so push here this point okay and pull making it's something like the Turu base okay but only in this small part so as you can see if you press here the sides of the paper the model is going to look like this right so, turn the model over now and do the same thing on the other side. So let me show you again, just make a valley fold along this line here, only on one layer, okay? Make the mountain folds along these two other lines and press here the side of the paper. Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Now spread here these layers also on the other side. Okay. And in this point here, you're going to carefully reverse this point here. As you can see, there's a depression here, right? So you're going to reverse this depression making a mountain. So it's going to be something like this. You have to carefully keep folding here this layer backward just like this. Okay? And press here from behind forcing the paper to reverse. And the model is going to look like this. Okay. Okay, now you're going to hold here this layer, okay, fold only this layer here, making a mountain fold along this line here, okay, and a valley fold along this line here. So only on this one layer here, right, you're going to make this fold. And at the same time, you're going to make a mountain fold along this line here, and a valley fold along this other line here. So this part here is going to be a little bit strange, okay? Because the model is not going to lie flat. So you're going to hold here the paper like this and do the same thing on the other side. So hold, okay, hold one layer and make these two mountain, fo mountain folds here, right? And then you're going to make a valley fold along this line here. Hold everything together and fold like this. So, 
you're going to make a flap okay just like this and turn the model over and do the same thing on this other side so this side here is going to be a little bit more difficult it's the same thing but it's going to be more difficult so reverse this point here okay and the problem now is that the layers from the other side is going to be in the way so when you when you fold this layer here as you can see this layer is going to be in the way to make the other side so carefully place here the fingers between these layers okay and do the same thing so make a mountain fold along this line and this line okay and do the same thing on the other side right and carefully okay hold here these two layers spread these two layers and make a valley fold along this line okay and the model is going to look like like this all four sides are going to be symmetrical okay so now let's make the wings and well let's use this flap here and this flap here to make the wings it doesn't really matter which flaps you choose so let's do like this first okay first make a fold make a mountain fold along this line here okay making the origami look like this only on one layer okay and then you're going to fold the bottom part of this layer making the side of the paper go up to the middle line and it's going to look like like this okay now pull here this layer I'm trapping this layer and then fold it back and squash the paper adjusting here this fold just to look look like this okay so do the same thing here on the other side fold only on one layer along this line here and do the same thing fold the bottom part up to the middle line and then you just pull here this layer again and fold it back so for now that's it let's leave the wing like this and let's leave the details for later now turn the model over and you're going to do the same thing here on this side it should look like this okay now let's make the tail okay so just open here one of these remaining flaps like this and well you're going to open here like the to-do base okay and it's going to be like this fold this side of the paper up to this middle line Do the same thing here on the other side. Now unfold here both sides and fold upward along this line here. Well, this fold is exactly the same as when you make the tsuru, the crane. So it's, well, it's not difficult to make. Okay, so the model should look like this. Now you're going to make here a valley fold, 
holding all these layers here, okay? So, make a valley fold along this line here. Then, make here a fold upward, really close to the first fold. So, it's going to look like this. Okay, now make another valley fold along this line here, okay. and make another upward fold parallel to the first fold. So it's just going to look like this, and make a fold making the side of the paper go up to the middle line. And do the same thing here on the other side. So the model should look like this. Now you're going to fold here this flap downward. And you're going to make a fold from this point to this point. So it's going to be just like this. Okay? and do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, now fold this flap upward again, and you're going to make a fold, you're going to make a valley fold here. Hold all the layers and fold exactly on the same line that we just folded, okay? It's going to look like this. And do the same thing here on the other side. After you made these two folds, you're going to fold the tail in half. Okay. So, squash the model and that's it. The tail is going to look like this. Now let's make the head. So, turn the model over and open here in this flap and fold one layer upward, okay? Up to this point here. Now you're going to fold the side this point here up to the middle. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side. Now unfold these two flaps and fold here this whole layer, all these layers downward. And you're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So fold here this flap downward and fold this side too. Now fold back all these layers upward. Now fold here this layer downward. And well, at this point here we had, we just made this fold here, right? This fold here, I don't know if you can see. And this fold here. So, using these two folds as reference, we are going to make a fold from this point here okay, up to this point here. Only on one layer. So, you are going to pull here this one layer and fold along this line. Right? So, after you fold, you are going to press here the side of this flap up to this line here. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, now you're going to open here this front flap and you're going to fold one layer upward 
like this. Now fold this back layer downward. Okay, only one layer downward like this. Now we are going to fold here, making the side of this front layer go up to the middle line, okay? And make the fold all the way up like this. And you're going to press here this layer up to this point, okay? This fold here is just to hide the white part of the origami. Now do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, now you're going to make a valley fold like we did on the other side, okay? So make a valley fold on all layers along this line here and do the same thing here on the other side. And you're going to fold all this flap in half and the model will look like this. Now you're going to pull here this part of the head Okay, like this. Okay, so now we are going to make a detail here on the head and it's going to look like this. You just have to make a V-shaped fold, okay, along about this part here and this part here. So this part here is going to be a little bit difficult to show but, well, the idea is it's really simple. Basically, you have to make a V-shaped fold with one valley fold and one mountain fold, something like this, okay? So, I'm going to show you the result of these two folds. And the origami should look like this. Okay, so do the same thing here on the other side. This is just a detail, okay? So, it's not really that important. But makes the origami look a little bit better. And the result should look like this. Okay? So now you're going to fold here these flaps to inside, just like this. Okay? So do the same thing on both sides. And now pull here this inner layer just to make the mouth okay now fold here one layer okay so you're going to look at this part of the origami and you're going to fold like this make a valley fold here narrowing the top part of the origami and do the same thing here on the other side okay so you're just going to fold up to the middle line again just to narrow both sides and it's going to look like this now you're going to narrow also the bottom part but only on one side so this side here you're going to fold up to the middle line okay so that's it, just narrow both sides of the wings. Okay, now fold these two layers back, okay, in half like this. And you're going to fold here the leg of the dragon, just like this, just make here a belly fold, making the leg point forward just like this now just do the same thing here on this side okay now the model should look like this and let's do the back part of the wing well it's it's almost the same thing, okay? So you just have to narrow the top part and the bottom part. 
but the difference will be when you make the leg so let's do the same thing okay narrowing the top part now narrowing the bottom part only on one side close here these two layers now this is going to be the different part instead of folding forward okay you're going to fold the leg open here in the middle and fold the leg backward first okay the leg is going to look like this now you're going to make another fold forward just like this so as you can see you have two folds one backward and one forward and that's all the legs going to look like so now just do the same thing here on the other side and now let's finish here the details on the wings so start by folding here the base okay the bottom part of the wing downward and the flap is going to fold forward just like this then you just press here okay squash the paper and the fold is going to look like this okay now this flap here you're going to fold to inside this pocket here okay and then just make another fold so the remaining part also fold to inside this pocket now just make here some v-shaped folds just to make the effect of wings okay so make a belly fold and a mountain fold and the wings going to look like this so make two of these v-shaped folds okay a belly fold and a mountain fold and the wing and the wings done okay so the wings going to look like this do the same thing to the other to the other wing and that's it the origami is done well um, you can still add some details okay so this one here as you can see you can also fold this part here to narrow the head well it's it's actually just up to you if you prefer the origami like this okay just fold a small part here to inside and there is another detail here on the top part of the mouth so just fold here a really small tip here from the top part okay and the model is going to look like this so that's it I hope you like it this origami and to support my channel please do not forget to click on the like button and even to subscribe in my channel so that's it thanks for watching this video see you bye bye <music>